saving the self-anchored suspension span of the new Bay Bridge is a highly synchronized dance between men and machines. It is multiple teams. I mean, you have people who, who are trucking in the asphalt, you have workers who are shoveling the asphalt, um, the hot, fresh asphalt onto the road decks. You have guys who are then kind of compacting it down as, as they drive along. So there's a lot of steps that have to happen at the same time. The east and westbound decks being paved are each 2,280 feet long and nearly 79 feet wide. The self-anchored suspension span is a steel bridge. You can't have traffic driving on steel. Uh, what they first do is they sandblast off a protective primer that was put on the steel decks when the sections came over. Um, they then clear off any kind of clutter that's on the decks and they put down a new fresh coat of primer. Um, then after that, they put down basically a bond coat that will help the epoxy asphalt basically adhere to the decks. And they also mix a binder into the epoxy asphalt as well. That helps it stick as well. O.C. Jones and Sons of Berkeley are trucking in 8.4 million pounds of asphalt. The asphalt trucks deliver to the Weiler E-1250A, which mixes and prepares the asphalt, and then delivers the load to this Caterpillar paver machine. This man, standing on the paver platform, shovels hot asphalt under the roadway to prep the gooey deck with the machine advancing, delivering what will be, after compaction, an inch thick roadway. That's just the first layer of two. As in any dance, timing is everything. There's a lot of timing involved, exactly. So as the workers, you know, shovel the asphalt out onto the deck, they're packing that down and then that asphalt has to cool a little bit before you can really do that first layer of compacting. And then that has to cool a little bit more and then you compact it again and then it has to cure for 48 hours before really any trucks can, can drive across it. And then you do the same thing a second time. It will take 10 days to pave each deck of the SAS. The paving is only taking place on the self-anchored suspension portion of the bridge. Three quarters of the bridge is already paved but will require some work before the bridge opens. So the Skyway, the Oakland Touchdown, and the Yerba Buena Island Transistor Structure, those are concrete structures. So those concrete decks that we've been driving on to, to shoot these kinds of things, that's what the public's going to be driving on. Uh, they do need to be sandblasted clean, and then there's a polyester overlay, a thin protective coating that gets put on top of it. But what you see now is what you're gonna be driving on. The roadway takes shape as the bridge heads towards opening in the months ahead. On the New Bay Bridge, Mark Jones reporting.